Okay, challenge time. So this is our first hands-on challenge with Apex. Let's go ahead and do it. So what do we need to do? We need to create an Apex class with a method that returns an array or list of strings, okay? So we want to create an Apex class. <clears throat> this is the name of the Apex class. We have a method, generate string array. And the generate string array method must return return an array or list of strings. Gear icon. Wrong one, this one. And then developer console. Pop that up. And open that. <clears throat> okay. So this is from our previous video. I'm going to close this out. So we have a blank canvas. I like blank canvas. So let's flip back here, back to our trailhead. We want an Apex class, right? The name of the class is string array test. Let's copy that and flip over to our um, developer console. So new, a new Apex class, boom. What is the name of the class? String array test. That is the name of the class. So it's creating this shell. Let's see. The Apex class must have a public static method. Public static method called generate string array. All right. So a public static method. Let's flip back here. I'm going to create the method. I'm going to name it. This is the method to generate the string. String, okay. Oops, take that out. Okay, so it's a public. It's static. It's a list of string, right? And then we name this generate string array. And we need to pass a parameter as the, as the um, challenge says, pass a parameter, um, the method must accept an incoming integer as a parameter, which will be used to determine the number of returned strings, all right? That, that parameter will be used to determine the number of return string. So if we pass uh, two and then th there will be test zero test one starting from zero okay and then test two right i think so the length of array is determined by the integer parameter okay so let's go back to the code we want to pass a parameter integer right and then we name it n okay so let's create the method shell so let's do that list of string my array let's name it my array okay equals in instantiate the string the list of string new for loop for i I is an integer. We have to declare it integer i, right? Equals zero until until i smaller than n, right? And then i plus plus. That's a basic for loop for any programming language. So we're gonna loop how many times? Whatever the number is passed here, right? We're gonna loop that many times, and then we're gonna say my array dot add right dot add what do we, we add here test plus i because the i is the one looping not n okay Re repeat this loop this until n is rich okay so plus i and we've done that and then we wanna 
output that system dot debug dot debug my array element oops element i and then that's looping and then we return the actual final array all right so now we have a return statement we can save that see the star now we have no problems okay so if i go back there there is a reference on you on how to add um, values to an array right i think we have it classes here see the the array or the list dot add that's what we did with the n right so this is our array or list and we add this plus the i because we want to uh, receive test n test 0 test 1 and so on now we want to actually give it a real give it a try how do you test this you go to debug right and a um, open execute anonymous window okay execute open the log and then i'm just gonna see the debug only so we can actually see test zero test one test two test three yay it's as expected okay so don't sweat it take a look at this this is the method how you construct it and then you do the for loop um yeah from i equals zero until i less than n which is being passed from here and just add those uh, into the my array um, variable and then you just debug it and we are good to go now i'm going to close that and we are good to close this so the next video we have a blank canvas and now i'm going to take my 500 points bada bing bada boom that was quick i'll see you on the next video hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom